petrified Forest National Park in Arizona is a geological marvel, overflowing with petrified wood, vivid stone logs strewn across 346 square miles in a display no other place on Earth can rival. This abundance stems from a rare Triassic trifecta, a massive ancient forest boom, perfect preservation conditions, and geological processes that exposed a fossil jackpot. Yet Arizona wasn't always desert. Its arid fate ties to the same ancient story, revealing why the park is packed with petrified wood and why no other site matches its quantity. Rewind to 225 million years ago in the late Triassic. Arizona, including the park's region, sat near Pangaea's equator, a wet tropical place with rivers and huge forests. Towering conifers like Araucarioxalon arizonicum, up to 200 feet tall and nine feet wide, formed a dense forest, a tree factory unlike smaller woodlands elsewhere. This tree factory dwarfed smaller woodlands like Yellowstone's Eocene forests or Lesbos Miocene groves, pumping out wood ripe for fossilization. Back then, Arizona was lush, not sandy. Seasonal floods swept through, toppling trees and blanketing them in mud, while volcanic eruptions from nearby ranges like the Mogollon Highlands dumped silica-rich ash. That wood didn't rot, it was buried fast. This flood ash combo created a low oxygen tomb, stalling decay in a way modern forests, teeming with decomposers, can't replicate. Termites didn't exist yet, so logs stayed intact. Compare this to Libya's uneven sand burials or Gilboa's sparse fossils. The park's frequent massive burials were unique. Silica from ash then seeped in, replacing wood with quartz via permineralization boosted by alkaline conditions. Iron and manganese added reds and purples, petrifying entire logs. Unlike Rhiney Chert's tiny plants or India's less consistent fossils. Then came the petrification magic, silica saturation. Ash dissolved into groundwater, forming a mineral rich brew that seeped into logs, replacing organic material with quartz via permineralization. Iron and manganese added reds, yellows, and purples, preserving entire trees, rings, bark, and all, in a process turbocharged by the Chinle's alkaline, low oxygen conditions. Other sites fall short. Rhiney Chert, Scotland, 400 million years ago, petrified tiny plants, not giant logs. India's Akal Wood Fossil Park, 180 million years ago, had less silica consistency. The park's chemistry turned a forest into a stone showcase, outpacing global rivals. Fast forward millions of years, tectonic uplift raised the Colorado Plateau, and erosion carved the Chinle's softer sediments, exposing the petrified bounty. Ancient river log jams concentrated the wood, and the park's badlands, like the Painted Desert, eroded just right to unveil hundreds of thousands of logs. Elsewhere, erosion misses the mark. Lesbos has one stunning tree, not a field. Egypt's petrified forest is vast but sparse. The park's 346 square miles hit a sweet spot no other site replicates. No rival matches this Triassic trifecta of growth, burial, and exposure. But why did Arizona dry out? It wasn't always desert. 250 million years ago, it teemed with forests and rivers near the equator. As Pangaea split, tectonic plates collided, pushing the land higher via the Laramide orogeny, 80 to 40 million years ago. Big mountains like the Rockies and Sierra Nevada rose, blocking ocean rain clouds in a rain shadow effect. The climate shifted too. By the Pliocene, 5 to 2.6 million years ago, dry subtropical air took over. After the Ice Age, wet seasons faded and forests turned to desert scrub. Arizona went from lush to arid over millions of years. Why no rival? The park combines a Triassic tree boom, flood and ash burials, silica-soaked petrification, and ideal erosion on a scale nature rarely repeats. Yellowstone has upright trees, but less volume. China's Jungar Basin, 
lacks the exposure. Petrified Forest's geological grand slam, massive growth, perfect preservation, and a fossil revealing landscape makes it a singular wonder unmatched in petrified wood quantity worldwide. The same forces that buried Triassic wood later parched the land, leaving petrified forest as a stunning relic of a lost wet world in today's desert sea.